Welcome to the first in the city of 2015 and as all transfer activity is now well underway you can hear from our first January signing of the year Scott Malone and also one of last January signings Kenwyn Jones. Also get to know your opponent as we look ahead to Saturday and facing Fulham. But first let's play darts. <laughs> So each balloon was labelled with a teammate, making it worth that player's squad number in points. But before stepping up, the boys have to spin on the spot the amount of times of their squad number. And Kadeem was up first, so that's a lot of spinning to start us off. So you're going for the three highest squad numbers. Ooh! <laughs> you almost got you. Hey! You got... Oh, guess what? Yeah. You popped David Marshall, you got one point, Kadeem. New boy Scott Malone joined in on the front too. <laughs> and then it was Noonie's turn. Nine. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> right, go, three shots. Oh my god, Wait! <laughs> hey! Oh! oh Who cast a watchful eye over Gunner? Who was up next? <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> 15. <laughs> 16. Last one. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Yeah, 17. Come on, then. Aaron narrowly oh. missed out on a double pop with oh. the dart oh. nestling nicely <laughs> in between two balloons. What are you doing? Stop. What are you? Yeah. 40. Who's your head in the bottom? Then it was the turn of the coaching staff. So one and Cads, 41. Uh, some interesting spinning techniques from Kev Nicholson. And then Marge, who literally spun out of control, much to the amusement of Craig and Aaron. <laughs> 51! And they got well involved. Robes is go. <laughs> Slight element of cheating going on here, looking to the wall for a little help. And of course, I, I had to have a go, and my designated squad number for the day was 15. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, So the results are in, and it's Gunner who came in top scorer, with Malone a close second. visit Cardiff City Stadium, having claimed 27 of their 28 points since Kit Simons took charge, initially on a caretaker basis, back on September the 18th. The only point that the club had picked up prior to that, under former manager Felix Magat, was garnered against Cardiff in a one-all draw with ourselves in the return fixture at Craven Cottage, back at the tail end of August. Just three points behind us and sat 17th in the table, Simon's men are looking to bounce back from consecutive 2-0 championship defeats at the hands of Bournemouth and Brighton. They haven't lost three on the spin since Simon's took charge, and at that point they'd started the season with four consecutive league defeats and seven from their first eight. Overall, five of the eight league wins picked up this season have come at home, however, the Cottagers have won two of their last three matches on their travels, slender victories at both Brighton and Leeds. And scoring goals hasn't necessarily been an issue this season, 35 on the board, including 17 on their travels, a mark bettered by just four clubs in the entire division, yet they do possess the worst defensive record in the league with 43 conceded at a ratio of 1.79 per match, and that's a figure that jumps to 2.41 on the road. And that despite conceding five goals at home on two separate occasions this term, 
Saturday marks a Cardiff return for Ross McCormack, the big money summer signing who was delivered to the tune of six goals and a team best eight assists so far, whilst the resurgent Hugo Rodallega leads the club's scoring charts with nine strikes. His best single season haul since 10-11 whilst at Wigan, and just one shy of his best ever in English football. And from a purely numbers perspective, Fulham have used 32 players so far this season, 11 of which have been new sign-ins, whilst a further four have been handed professional debuts. I sat down with our top goal scorer, Kenwin Jones, this week, while he's made it to double figures, but does he think he can get to that magic mark and double it this season? Watch out! It was like going in slow motion. I was like, is it going? <laughs> Judging by um, how the first half of the season went, I don't think I had, you know, a million chances to score those goals. So I'm quite happy with the fact that for, with the return for the amount of chances that I've had. So um, hopefully, again, as I say, um, with the players coming in this, possibly coming in this window and everything settling down, hopefully, you know, um, I'll be able to get another nine, 10, 10 goals if possible, and I'll be happy with that. It's been 24 games so far. Um, I don't think I played all of them. I missed quite a few through injury and for the personal matters. So, you know, I think I've done well in the first half of the season, but now to me, it doesn't matter because we have 23 or 22 odd games to go. So I'm going to try my best to, you know, add to that tally as much as I possibly can to be able to help the team to you know, win games and get back to those, well, the playoffs or as high as we can possibly finish. Now, Adam referred to you as the Drogba of the Championship that time you put your body on the line to get him off the mark against Watford. What's your relationship like with Adam at front? It's been good. We have an understanding on and off the pitch, you know, um, when we go to away matches, we're roommates, so, you know. <laughs> We have a, a decent relationship. I think he is just being busy with the drug bomb statement, as he usually is. There's been one main change since Kenwin's time here, that being Russell's appointment as manager. And I asked Kenwin about his relationship with the gaffer. He's tried to, to, to have a, an open relationship with, with, with everyone, you know, um, to try and be able to let them know where they stand. And, and obviously, you know, that, that working relationship has to be somewhat decent because you know what what players and, and coaches are like and especially coming up around the transfer window times and when people are not happy and all of that sign of stuff so um, <clears throat> he's been decent since he's been here so far so long may that continue. And when he came in did he outline any expectations or give you any targets that he expects of you as an individual? Oh uh, no, not not personally. Um, as a team, he wanted us to to try and get better in all areas because we were having a bit of indifferent form at that time, and we kind of stabilised a bit when uh, for a period, and now we're back to that wobbling form. But again, we we here at the transfer window. I'm expecting that you know a few bodies are going to be added to the team, and hopefully they'll come in and and help galvanise us. Let's take a look at what else is going on around the club. The development side were defeated in a 2-0 loss to Colchester United on Monday evening. The next in action against QPR on Tuesday. You can catch the Academy boys on Friday night at Landor Training Ground against Swansea. Kickoff is 7pm. A good win for the Futsal under 18s this week. The 18 beating Wolves 6-2. And Cardiff City women kicked off 2015 in great style, having beaten Poor Talbot Town ladies 7-0 on Sunday. There are still places available for your child to be a Cardiff City player escort for one of Cardiff City's home games this season. For more information on what the package involves and how to book, contact jamie.pike at cardiffcityfc.co.uk. Basketball has really taken off at the House of Sport recently and we'll be holding another six-week block of coaching sessions from January the 13th for girls and boys aged 12 to 16. Thanks once again to all our soccer school starlets who supported our festive soccer schools. We're now looking ahead to February half term with girls only and disability sessions also available. For more information, visit www.cardofcityfoundation.co.uk.
A big thank you to the WIU who recently allowed us to use their facilities whilst our pitches were frozen. Check out Nooney's Techers. Welcome to Lee Sellenwood, who has joined the first team coaching team as the new fitness coach. 19-year-old Chelsea striker Islam Fernies has been busy training with the club recently. We'll bring you an update on how he's getting on and all the action in the January transfer window, so keep watching. The Cardiff City audiovisual team visited the home of YouTube at the Google HQ in London. A really interesting day, some top gadgets, so make sure you subscribe to our official YouTube channel as you promise to keep you entertained. And finally, now is your chance to subscribe to Cardiff City Player. Watch extended interviews, highlights and all the other news around the club for just £20 for the next six months. For more information, contact player at cardiffcityfc.co.uk. We'll be back here at Cardiff City Stadium in action on Saturday against Fulham. So let's go over and hear from someone who will be looking to make his home debut sometime soon. And that's new signing, Scott Malone. I think there were a few clubs interested, but Cardiff uh, jumped out at me really. And I mean, great club, great manager. And as soon as they put put the offer in, I said, "Look, um, I want to go." Sort of thing. The training grounds unbelievable. Um, the grounds good. Crowds are good. The players, some of the players here are, are excellent. So um, it was a no-brainer really when when they were interested. Obviously, not being in contract next season with Millwall, it was it was, it was good for them to come and say, "Look, come here for." For two and a half years, so yeah, it's, it all works out. Any other lads you've come across before, or this? Um, Sean Morrison. Yeah. I played with him at South End. Lived with him for a few months. Um, he's the only one really. I mean, uh, I was a Villa fan when I was younger, so I used to go and watch uh, Britain come down the Villa. So it's it's a bit surreal being here with all these players, but um, hopefully I can hit the ground running. Finally, looking forward to hopefully being involved on the weekend, or is that a bit too soon? No, um, I'm fit and ready to go. Um, been training as normal at Millwall. Um, didn't play Saturday because it was the cup, and I wanted to play for Cardiff in the cup. So I'm fitting, ready to go, and hopefully we'll be involved Saturday. Yeah. 